Eileen and I want to welcome you to Virtual STEM Club Littles Edition Bubble Machine. Today we are going to be making our own bubble solution, playing with bubbles and learning what a bubble is. So you should have already received your take and make bag here at the library and caregivers you and your little ones are going to be working together on this whole project. So you're going to be there step by step with them helping them along the way. You are going to need a few things from home to complete today's project. You're gonna need water. You're also going to need some kind of a shallow bowl or dish, um, something where we can pour all of our different items in and mix them together and then put our bubble wands in. So I'm just using a little container that looks like this. And then the last thing is you're going to either need to wear something that has long sleeves like my sweater or you can wear like those thin winter fall mittens. Um, but you're gonna need something that we can bounce our bubbles off of. Um, and so you can't do that on your skin, otherwise they'll pop. Um, but we're gonna need something to either cover our arms or our hands, depending on where you want to bounce our bubbles. Um, so once you grab those few supplies from home, we can get started on going over what is in your take and make bag and then we're gonna get started with our step-by-step -step instructions, and then we'll talk a little bit about bubbles. All right, are you guys ready? Let's get started. All right, everyone, so the first thing I'm gonna ask you to do is to take everything out of your take and make bag. We always like to go over what is in your bag. That way, if you're missing something super important, you can contact us and we'll get you whatever you're missing. But hopefully you aren't missing anything. So you should have a plastic bag that's gonna have a little bottle of blue liquid and a bottle of clear liquid, which we're gonna get into what those are in just a minute. You'll have a straw, mine's pink. You'll have two blue bubble wands. You'll have a bigger bubble wand, which yours could be any one of the colors of the rainbow. Mine happens to be like a purple magenta. You're gonna have a plastic spoon and a cup that has all of these lines so that we can actually measure how much water we're gonna be adding into our bubble solution. Because today we are going to make our own bubble solution where when we actually blow the bubbles, we can bounce them off of pieces of clothing, whether we have long sleeves or mittens or gloves on. So here we go. We are gonna take our shallow bowl, which you'll need from home. And the first thing that I want you all to do is you're gonna take your, let's see, we're gonna actually start with our water today. So caregivers and littles, what I want you to do is take your cup and because we're mixing things and we're doing some chemistry today, we need exact measurements. So we're going to fill the cup up to the one cup line. All right. And you want to make sure it's exact. So caregivers and littles, go ahead and fill up your water cup and how we measure to make sure that we have exactly one cup of water is you're going to fill your cup up and then you're going to look at it from the side at eye level. So you're going to go right down. So I'm going to put my head right here on the table and you're going to want to make sure that that water only goes up to that line. It can't be above or below. Okay. So go ahead and do that. Pause the video and then let's come back and then we're going to get started with our solution. Okay. So I'm going to take my container and I'm gonna pour my one cup of water. And then we're gonna take our blue liquid, which is a quarter of a cup of blue dish soap. So this one is blue dish soap. And what I want you to do caregivers is go ahead and take the lid off when you're little and then go ahead and let them pour that liquid right into on top of our water, okay? And I am kind of letting it spread out and you might have to squeeze your bottle a little bit um, and you'll hear it pop. These are just little travel size shampoo bottles that we purchased and filled up with our ingredients. So, so far we have our water, our one cup of water, and then we have our quarter cup of blue dish soap. 
And then this bottle here, it might look like water, but it's actually corn syrup. So a lot of people use this in baking um, and all sorts of other cooking activities. So again, caregivers, if you can go ahead and take the lid off for your little, and then go ahead and littles, you're just gonna carefully pour that into your mixture right on top. And caregivers, I will recommend that when you get to the blowing bubbles stage, um, you should do that outside. So it does leave a little bit of a sticky residue, just like any bubble solution. Um, but uh, my recommendation would be to practice making the bubbles outside. Okay, so once you've gotten as much of that corn syrup out into our liquid, so now we have water, one cup of water, a quarter of a cup of blue dish soap, and a quarter of a cup of corn syrup. Now, Littles, I want you to grab your spoon. Does everybody have their spoon? What I want you to do is slowly, now you don't wanna go really fast because we don't want the soap to create a bunch of bubbles. We just wanna mix these three ingredients together, okay? So what I'm doing is I'm kind of taking the flat side and I'm just rolling it around the bottom. So you don't wanna go super fast, but you will want to make sure everything is mixed together pretty well, okay? Um, you can see because the corn syrup is actually thicker than the water, um, you can actually see it when it starts to really mix together. And then the blue soap, um, you can actually see that because it becomes from dark blue um, to a lighter blue as it mixes with everything. Okay, so again, just keep mixing nice and slowly. And if you have to, you can pause the video. Um, but the one thing we want to do is make sure that everything is mixed together, okay? And caregivers, I want you to double check. Once you think your little is done, I want you to double check, okay? Because we want to make sure this part is mixed together evenly. And I mentioned earlier that we are going to be doing some chemistry today. And that's kind of a big word for our littles here at the library, okay? But chemistry is actually just talking and studying or learning about the smallest parts of what make up everything around us. So, I know that sounds like a lot, but everything around us is made up of tiny little particles. So today we're gonna to be talking about how molecules, water and soap molecules work together. All right, so I'm still mixing. Like I said, you gotta have a little bit of patience for this part, but once we're done mixing, we get to start the super fun part of actually blowing some bubbles and starting to bounce them around. Now, have you ever been able to bounce a bubble around? I had never done this before, um, doing this project here at the library. So when it actually worked, I got a really big kick out of this and just loved a lot of my coworkers. We were bouncing bubbles back and forth, playing volleyball with them. Um, so this is just super fun. Um, and it does take a little bit of practice. Um, obviously, we called them unpoppable bubbles in our advertisement for this, um, which they do pop eventually. But if you blow them and bounce them a few times, um, it still brings a lot of fun to bubble play because normally bubbles pop right away when you touch them. Okay. All right, everyone. I think my bubble solution is ready to test, okay? So what I'm gonna do is show you our three different types of bubble tools. So we have this big bubble wand, which mine's just a circle, we talked about it's the color magenta or purple earlier. So that's a big one, and then you should have two little blue ones, and then you also have a straw in case you wanna try to blow air into your bubble solution. Um, and caregivers, if you're gonna try the blowing into, I advise that you definitely monitor your little ones because we don't want them sucking the liquid up and trying to drink it. 
That's a no-no. We don't want to we don't want to put this in our mouths in any way, okay? So, what I'm going to do is I enjoy using the blue bubble wands. So, um, I'm going to take the end that has one circle on it, um, and the circle is actually a little bit textured all the way around. Um, and this one kind of looks like a number eight. So, I'm going to hold the part that looks like a number eight, and then I'm going to dip it in my bubble solution. And I'm just going to practice blowing bubbles because not, you know, blowing bubbles is actually kind of a skill that takes a little bit of work and practice sometimes. So, I'm just going to practice blowing my bubbles to start with. All right, so I've repositioned myself a little bit so that we can really see me blowing some bubbles and trying to bounce them off of my arms here. So let's see if we can make this work, okay? So I'm dipping my wand into my bubble solution and then I'm very carefully gonna blow some bubbles. <gasps> look, look at how fun that is. Do you see that? <gasps> I'm hoping that you guys are just as successful as I am. Now, did you notice how it did eventually pop? But I had three or four good bounces off of my sleeve here, so let's see if I can do it again. Do you guys think I can? Let's see. I'm trying to bounce it between. Whoa, look at that. That was fun. Okay, here we go. We're going to try again. I have so much fun with this project. <laughs> um, I really hope that you have some fun too. Now, Littles, if you're struggling to blow the bubbles, maybe your caregiver can blow the bubbles and you can try to bounce them. And you have to be kind of gentle. As you can see, when I was moving my arms, I was trying to be really gentle and slow about it. So, let's see here. There's a much smaller bubble. Ooh. <laughs> so, I'm bouncing this one all around. The smaller ones seem to last a little bit longer. So, that was kind of fun to find out. So we're going to talk a little bit about what is a bubble before we say goodbye for today. So what I've found out is that a bubble is actually three layers that you can't see with your eye, but those little tiny molecules that make up things, that's what we're going to talk about. So there are two whole layers of soap and in the middle, there's a layer of water, and that's what forms the bubble. It traps air on the inside in between all three of those layers. And then what happens is once that water, that middle layer in between the two layers of soap, when that evaporates, which means um, it goes into the air as little tiny water droplets, uh, instead of being like water that's condensed, um, once they evaporate, those water molecules, the bubble pops. And the corn syrup, that clear liquid that we put into our mixture, that actually makes the soap layers stronger, which is why we can bounce them off of pieces of clothing. So, our different soap molecules are interacting with the water to make the bubble and trap air inside. Ooh, that one's a big one. I really do think the small ones last longer. Let's see. Ooh. <laughs> All right, well, I want you to go ahead and give it a try, and I hope you have some fun today, and let us know how it goes. Thank you all so much for joining me today during Virtual STEM Club Little's Edition Bubble Machine. I had so much fun with this project, and my hope is that you did too. I've always been a fan of bubbles. I think even as an adult, you can have fun blowing bubbles, popping bubbles. Um, bubbles just bring joy and laughter into our lives. 
So, I would love to see any videos or pictures of you completing today's project. Seeing those um, here at the library always brings us a lot of joy to see you enjoying all the work that we're putting into these projects for you. So you can send those to us at the email address going across your screen right now. And I hope to see you next time for another Virtual STEM Club Littles Edition. Bye for now.